Hi everyone, this is Callie with craftingcallie.wordpress.com. I'm making some lucky red envelopes this year to celebrate um, the lunar calendar and the, the New Year's, which is celebrated by a lot of Asians. And for this year, it starts on February 8th, which is in six days. And so um, I'm creating these red envelopes using Mama Elephant's Lunar Animals and Lunar Extras. So the lunar calendar is represented by 12 cycling animals, and this year is the year of the monkeys. I'm using the lucky envelope die here, and just so you know, you can get four cards out of an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So um, I've, I've pre-cut all of these out. I just wanted to show you quickly how you put them together. Um, there are two flaps for adhesive, and then also a top flap that folds into a slit that's cut there for you. And then you can close it there if you want. And so I'm only gonna be decorating this front panel. So I've pre-stamped 24 monkeys and um, some cherry blossoms. And um, I'm gonna be making 24 envelopes for family and friends. Um, typically you would buy these envelopes pre-made. So I'm really excited to be able to uh, make my own this year. I am using um, some Copics here to color, up, uh, color these monkeys. And uh, I always do the light first and then go in with a darker color and then blend with a lighter color. But these are smaller images and you really can get away with using dark first and then blending with light. And that's what I end up doing later when I'm coloring the other 22 monkeys here that I have. Um, for the purpose of this video, um, I'm doing what I started out doing, which is um, going from light to dark back to light. And of course, you're never done coloring any critter without adding some rosy cheeks using R20. So I'm going to be doing that on all 24 of these monkeys. So I've colored all my monkeys, which are really cute. And um, as you can see, the envelope there is a little bit small and this cherry blossom stamp is a little bit longer. So I'm only stamping the portion that I need and want to cut out. So I'll be coloring those in various Copic markers. Um, if you can't catch them in the video here, they will be listed in um, the descriptions below. I'll list all my colors. So for the cherry blossom, I just wanted it to be kind of vibrant. And uh, I'm using a lighter green and, and just accenting a little bit with a little bit dark tones. And same with the flowers, a little bit of um, brighter, darker pink towards the middle there to highlight the center accents. And so I'll color all 24 of those, which is loads of fun. And then I'll die cut them all, which is also loads of fun. And I um, wanted to show you as well here um, that um, when I went to cut these uh, images out, I was able to cut a blossom and a monkey at the same time. So it was a little bit helpful in that sense that I was able to die cut two at once instead of just doing one. And now I am going to stamp and um, emboss. I'm using the Chinese sentiment there that says Happy New Year's and then I'm adding a little gold nugget as well as some fireworks at the very top. Um, these are all symbols that um, help us celebrate the New Year's for those who celebrate the lunar calendar. So I'll be stamping these in Versamark ink and then I'll be embossing them with WOW rich gold um, metallic ink or metallic powder, I'm sorry. And so I'll do that with the three that I'm showing in this card and then um, I'll heat set that and then we can go ahead and adhere our die cut pieces on the top of this. So I wanted to share with you as well that um, these red envelopes are um, given to family and friends and what we normally put in there is money in any incremental amount. Um, you know, if you want to give $20 to kids to, you know, wish them luck and, and give them money to spend for the new year, that's great. Um, in our family, we will give one envelope, <laughs> probably just a dollar or two to the adults. Um, just to give them luck. It, it doesn't have to be, you know, a, a big amount of money. So um, the, it's fun for the kids to get a lot of money because then they get to buy new toys for the new year. It's kind of like Christmas again. Um, but for the adults, it's more about um, wishing someone luck and giving them prosperity throughout the, the next year. So um, just a little story on that. And now I'm going to be putting my cards together or my uh, my envelopes together. I'm going to add some 
um, some dry adhesive there to those flaps and then I'm just going to fold it and put them together and then I'll be able to adhere my um, die cuts with some I'm going to be using multimedia matte glue on the video but then I did switch to Tombow liquid mono adhesive um, it just flowed a little bit faster for me and came out a little bit easier than having to squeeze on this bottle so hard so when I was making the other 20 21 cards, I, I, I tried to use other things that would make it go a little bit faster for me. And since the envelope is a little bit, um, it's not as flat um, because there's, you know, folded, it's folded together and, and, and sitting there on the tabletop, it's not um, completely flat. So um, to help with adhering these down, I do add a heavy acrylic block on top just to make sure that it, it adheres well. And then I'll trim that branch so I can cut off what I don't need. It's super cute. So I hope you like this project. That's really the end of it. Um, I try to make each card a little bit different by uh, adhering the stamp, stamped images on a little bit different each time um, just to kick it up a little bit. But anyway, um, I also wanted to show you towards the end here, every year I forget to go to the store to buy these little red envelopes. So I've been hoarding them from previous years and I just wanted to show you some samples of what they look like. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes. Most of them are red, but again, some of them can be gold. And um, that's primarily what it looks like here. Um, you know, the bigger envelopes are for full bills and the smaller envelopes are for folded money. Um, but it's super fun and everyone looks forward to the New Year's and I just wanted to share this bit of our, our culture with you. And um, I wish everyone who is celebrating the lunar calendar year a happy new year and thanks for watching. As always, everything will be listed in the descriptions below and as well as on my blog. I thank you for watching and if you're interested, here are two more videos that you can catch. On the left is a low vocal low bulk shaker card um, without using a fuse tool if you don't have one and on the right is just a birthday card that i recently made um, using some new stampin up products that i recently got thanks again for watching and i hope everyone has a terrific day bye bye